Yo, what's up everyone? Trey Mel here. We're back with another Pokemon Sun and Moon anime discussion. And today, guys, we're talking about the newest episode, episode 56, the Jigglypuff and Kamala episode. Yes, Jigglypuff is back in the Lola, back with the singing and back with the microphone. But let's get right into the review. So this episode summary is basically this. There's Jigg Jigglypuff comes and just sings to like the, the class, makes them fall asleep. And, and basically scribbles on everybody except for Kamala because Kamala is the sleep Pokemon. It basically is dreaming. So Jigglypuff keeps trying to squiggle the, uh, the marker on Kamala, but it keeps failing every single time. The episode was... That, that's basically like the plot of the episode. It was a decent episode. It wasn't really like as good as like last week. Last week was amazing, but for a filler episode, it was a pretty decent fit episode. It wasn't really that much to go down in this episode except for Jigglypuff's main appearance return. But overall, the episode was pretty good. Overall, we got to see a lot of really funny faces with the crew when they were making fun of the um the little drawings that Jigglypuff did. That was really nice. As for Kamala, it was good to see an episode finally like. Devoted to Professor Oak in Alola, the Alolan Professor Oak. Because we really haven't seen too much of him. And we got to learn a little more about his backstory with Kamala. How they met. Kamala didn't have a log. Kamala liked the rest, like to sit on um, Professor Oak's head. And basically, it ended up being Kamala like the uh, little log that he rang for the school bell. And that's why Kamala seen every day ringing the bell when it's time for school. So, that's a good backstory to, so we can finally understand why Kamala rings that bell all the time and uses that log. Overall, the episode was pretty decent. Overall, I have to say, the highlights of this episode was actually Team Rocket. Team Rocket were really not that good in um the eighth arc. I'll admit that they were they were kind of what was really in the way, in my opinion. But here they're actually back to their good old selves, and I really like that. Beware was a real highlight of today's episode because Beware was just making like Team Rocket as a whole. They all were really good in this episode. Jigglypuff scribbles on Team Rocket's face, and you just see them all laughing at each other, making faces and stuff. And then when Beware just turns around to grab them, they're just so scared because Jigglypuff actually scribbled on Beware's face too. And it's just so funny seeing Beware looking so mad like this. Like it was really funny seeing that scene. Then Beware basically takes them back to their house. But overall. And the episode was a pretty fun, kind of funny episode. It was nice when Ash and the others fell asleep and Rotom recorded the footage, basically. And we just see Kormala and Jigglypuff rolling around trying to get each other. And it seems like Jigglypuff will be replacing Team Rocket with the blast off because every time the wind blows, Jigglypuff just blasts off again. So, and we it was funny, too, because <laughs> Jigglypuff just put a beware as it was running on the water and stuff. So, yeah. Overall, the episode, it wasn't that much, like, of an important plot episode, but it, it still has its funny moments as well. One of the best moments in this episode was the Who's That Pokemon scene. Because the Who's That Pokemon, it just shows a ball. And then when it gets revealed, it's Jigglypuff, but from the bottom. So it was a nice reference to Gym 1 when they did that Who's That Pokemon? It's Jigglypuff from the top of his head. <laughs> that was a really good reference that they did there. Because I, I was like, wait, what? When I saw the ball, but then and it was Jigglypuff. So that was cool. That was a cool reference that they did there. Also, in one scene, James was, they were talking about, they were hunting Ultra Beast. And we get to see James have a vision of some type of Pokemon, I guess. So maybe this could be a, a new Pokemon to come in the future. I don't know. Maybe, like, you know, Team Rocket always hints at the next generation. Or maybe they just were just thinking of something. Maybe we'll never see this Pokemon again. Who knows? The anime could just reveal a new Ultra Beast that hasn't been revealed in the games yet that might come as, a, as an event or something. We just have to wait to see on that, guys. At one point, Jigglypuff ends up falling asleep, and Komala takes the marker and just scribbles all on Jigglypuff's face. Ash and the others wake up, and they're trying to hurry up and wash it off of Jigglypuff's face, but Jigglypuff just didn't mind. He was actually laughing. And I really like that that Jigglypuff was, like, okay with it. Basically, after Jigglypuff was laughing at, you know, the scribbles, it pat Komala on the head and said, you're, you're good, you're cool with me. And then Jigglypuff blasts off again. So, I don't know if this is... Basically trying to say, is this the end of Jigglypuff? I don't think so. I think we'll see Jigglypuff again in the future. I really do want Ash to catch her. At least somebody in the Sun and Moon crew. Maybe Lily or somebody. I feel like Jigglypuff would fit good with Ash as his first fairy type. Because Ash noticed it since it was back in Kanto. And since it came to Alola with Ash, it would be really nice if Ash actually caught it. But then again, the sing might put the trainers to sleep and stuff, which really wouldn't work out too well. 
but yeah, overall, this was a pretty decent episode. I, uh, I think you, if you like, if you really want to get a good laugh, you can watch this episode. But it's nothing plot related, so you you can skip it if you're just trying to watch for the plot. The next episode will be the Rotom Dex form episode. And I cannot wait for this episode. Not just because Rotom's coming out the Dex and going into different forms, but also Marshadow's still appearing in the next episode. Which, I feel like the next episode is going to be the start of the new plot with the whole Ultra Recon squad and stuff. Since we see Pui Pui at the end of the last episode, now we're getting Marshadow in this episode. I feel like they're building up to something big with the Ultra Beast and the Legendary Pokemon. But, in the comment section down below, let me know what you guys thought of this episode. Um, it wasn't as good. Like, there are better, there are better filler episodes in my opinion than this episode. Like the baseball episode. This episode was a decent filler. It wasn't bad and it wasn't all that great. It was decent. Thank you all for watching. And I hope y'all enjoyed. Trey Man One, peace out.